welcome back this is k8 television understanding the mind of god we are understanding the mind of god concerning prayer and how we need to pray when we need to pray and we have looked at why so right now we are looking at how so that you pray the right way now we have left at a place where we are looking at there is there needs to be that personal relationship you need to pray not your pastor on your behalf you need to pray you not know, some of us maybe those who have been born from from uh priesthood priesthood families mm. they know our daddy will pray for us mm. our daddy will fast for us you know we, we don't need to do these things we are under his mm. grace mm. so they will do this so i'm looking at it now considering you're saying it's a personal uh relationship with god when it comes to prayer yes where is the place of intercessors and the place of prayer partners because mm. what to nambiwa pick a prayer partner share prayer items so that they pray on your behalf Mm. Now, which role do they play when now it comes to they, there's a place I need to be personal? Uh, first and foremost, uh, people need to understand that God has called each one of us to pray. Mm -hmm. Each one of us is supposed to be an intercessor. Oh. There's no way somebody can say that now you, you have more grace. I uh -huh. have seen you have more grace. You can yes. pray for me. Yeah. You can pray for us. God has called us to pray. And God has called each one of, our, each one of us is ought to be an intercessor mm -hmm. of yourself, an intercessor of one another, an intercessor of whosoever God has placed you in their heart. You see. So God calls each one of us to pray mm -hmm. but now when it comes to the place where god is saying that we have to have you know when you pray just like jesus jesus had the inner cycle mm -hmm. of the people he prayed with and you remember what happened in the in the in the mountain of where transfiguration mm -hmm. when jesus took who he took peter james and mm -hmm. who and uh and john, and john mm -hmm. along with him those were his inner Sako, mm. who prayed with him. He mm. wanted to reveal the, he wanted to reveal God to them and reveal who exactly he was mm. to to them. So there are moments, yes, we need prayer partners to pray with and it is godly. It's mm. not it's not a it's not wrong. Mm. We need those people to hold us. There are times when you feel you cannot you cannot stand alone. Mm. You need to pray with somebody. Mm. And that one is allowed. There are times when you need to pray for other people. Like now we have the intercessors in church and all over the place. That one is okay. Mm. They can pray. But going back to the draw line where God wants us, each one of us ought to pray. Mm. We need to pray. Each one of us need to pray. Mm. And remember, you can, uh, you can pray. You can pray in a group and perhaps you pray wrongly and that's when you realize that it takes us back to the other book of first john chapter 5 mm. in verses 14 whereby the bible says that mm. uh, this is the confidence that we have when we approach god eh? when we mm. approach god concerning anything according to his will we are coming back to his will mm. so if you're reading your bible just put a big cycle around the word will there when you pray according to his will he answers you according to his will in an intercession he answers you according to his will mm. in partners he answers you according to his will one on one you alone as you go before the lord mm. he answers you so what makes a difference is are you praying according to his will okay because now. what matters especially is praying according to his will mm. but intercession is godly you can pray you can intercede you can pray in a group you can pray in a in in you know in a number that you feel comfortable it is okay but mm. are you praying according to his will we have an example of jesus christ mm. when jesus christ was in a very sorrowful moment in the garden of gethsemane mm. the bible says he prayed and said father if it is your will mm. take away this cup away from what mm. from me and i'm like ah jesus you reach to that extent of saying take away this cup what would have happened for me mm. if jesus say if god said now let me do what let me mm. not uh, let me now cup. answer mm. his prayers let me answer his prayers all of us would have been doomed for destruction mm. all of us would have gone straight to hell but thanks be to god that he did not do what he did not answer according to the will of who to the will of our lord jesus christ mm. because salvation then wouldn't have done what wouldn't have come in sure. so you see that there are times when you pray when it is not according to God's will and he does not, does not answer. he does not answer okay. God will always answer prayer that is according to his will it doesn't matter whether it is intercession partner or one on one he will answer but according to his will and it makes prayer very easy because you have prayed according to his will you have not prayed amiss whereby he says now you have prayed wrongly wait okay amazing 
I need that your rejoinder on that. But mm. as you as you speak, uh, the elephant in the room mm. is how do I know this this thing called will? How do I know this is the will of God? I'm a politician, for example. Mm. I've read Genesis. The Bible says, "Take dominion, mm. rule." I mm. go for election. Yes. I lose. And God said, "We take dominion." So I'm, I'm, I'm venturing into leadership, mm. but I lose, or I start a business, it falls, mm. and and I, I really prayed for it. I even brought pastor; he anointed it, and I gave something in the envelope. But the business <laughs> falls, or people steal. You see, mm. so how how do I know that I am really in the, according, w- to, according the to the will of, of God? God? Because this is where the problem comes in. Mm. Yes, Pastor. Let me begin with you. Mm. <coughs> let me let me say, mm. <coughs> not everything that God releases from heaven reaches His people. Okay. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay. okay. Uh, the will of God is for everybody to be born again. Mm-hmm. Not everybody is born again. Mm. So. Uh, we must be able to understand mm-hmm. if it is the will of God. First, mm-hmm. first and foremost, the Bible says, likewise the Spirit of God helps us in our infirmities. Mm-hmm. So we have an infirmity in that we don't know how to pray. Mm-hmm. So the first partner we should have is the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Why? Verse 27 says, that is, that is Romans 8, mm-hmm. eh? verse 27 says, and he that searches the hearts mm-hmm. know, knows what is in the mind mm-hmm. of the Spirit. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Mm-hmm. So uh, when when we pray a lot in the spirit, that's mm-hmm. why uh, some people will say, spend a lot of time praying in the spirit. Mm-hmm. By saying in the spirit, basically you're talking in tongues. Eh? Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Because that opens you to start to understand what you need to 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 pray for. Mm-hmm. Paul says, "I will pray with my spirit, mm-hmm. pray with my understanding. I'll sing with my spirit, mm-hmm. sing with my understanding." <clears throat> so sometimes things can be released. An angel was released to come to Daniel, mm-hmm. and he spent twenty-one, 21, 21 days, days before he reached. Before he reached. Him. Reached him. Okay. If Daniel had stopped praying mm-hmm. on the eighteenth day, mm-hmm. he would have said, "God, didn't God didn't answer the prayer. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was not the will of God." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, we we talked about the door. Mm. Now that we need to understand that uh, the answers that God gives us are not general; they are specific for each individual. Mm. So if it is dominion, what the, what the dominion that I, I take in the society may be different from yours. Okay. Mm. But now it is reaching a place where, after seeking, I have already discovered the door. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is where where you are saying, "How do I know it is the will of God?" Yes. You have sought until now, mm. you have understood the will of God is in this door. Mm. Uh-huh. Now, it is now doing intercession and doing spiritual warfare mm. to be able to access that door. Mm-hmm. Because God can will for you to do something mm-hmm. and then it doesn't happen. <clears throat> One of the greatest apostles in the Bible, he says, I desire to come to you and Satan mm. hindered me. Okay. Paul. Yes. So there was something that Paul wanted to go and do in a city and Satan hindered him. I think sometimes we 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 underrate this guy. Oh, Satan. The Satan. Mm. Okay. And the, the, the kingdom of the enemy. Yes. So we must spend time to in the in the place of prayer until we are empowered, we are strengthened first in our minds to understand the will of God, and then we are strengthened to pursue that until it happens. Mm. Okay. Wow. That one made me go silent. Yes. <laughs> because it was... <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, do you know, when you've said, if, if Daniel could have stopped at 18 days, at 18. Eh, <clears throat> uh, th- that, that prayer, he would have actually said, God, did not, God is not answering this thing. Let mm. me move on to the next. And I think that's the problem that we're having as believers. True. Because sometimes you're not able to persist in prayer. L- l- let me give you a yes. statement mm. and then... Uh, a preacher was preaching and he said this. Mm-hmm. I, I think I understood it in a very different way, mm-hmm. in a very strong way. Mm-hmm. That God is a spirit king. Mm-hmm. He comes when he wants, not when you want. Okay. That is where we must we must teach ourselves to wait. To wait, yes, upon the Lord. Because he, he comes at it. You, you can't force a king to come. Na wale wenye watu natuma mungu waende kwa nyabaitu. Mungu tunakutuma wende. Eh, tu, tunakutuma wende siaya 
Yeah. So you cannot send God. <laughs> if, the God if the Spirit of God tells yeah. you something is happening in Sia right now, yeah. the, Bi the Bible says actually, uh, ask of the nations. Yes. There is a place it says, concerning my, my, my commandments mm. my, or, or my covenant, command ye me. Mm -hmm. So there is a place where you can almost seem like you're commanding God, but it is because you have understood mm -hmm. that it is actually the will of God. You're not commanding him his mind, mm. your it mind. Is will it, is it is his will mind. to do it. It is his will to do it. Now you're telling them, him, now that I've discovered you want to, to, to go to Siaya, mm. now I release you. Remember that prayer is a, is a point of contact where we allow God mm. to, to legally access the, the earth. Mm -hmm. You see, God on earth is not... He, he, unless he's allowed by man after mm. he gave us dominion. Mm. Remember he gave us dominion? Mm -hmm. So he does not invade without mm. our permission. So mm. prayer is a place where we are now giving him the access. Understand? Wow. Mm. Wow. So he's a spirit king. You, he's a spirit king. He, he comes when you, he wants. Sometimes you have exactly. to wait for 100 days. For him to come. Abraham waited for 25 days. Mm. For 25 years. Yes. We must be patient. To wait. To wait. And also maybe wow. to just add what he has said, people mm. need to, people need to understand that eh, whenever you go into the presence of God, when you're praying, you're not praying to change God. Mm -hmm. You're actually praying because you want God to do what? To change you. you. Mm. Not okay. changing God. You cannot go with a mindset in prayer that I am going to change God. God. It is you to accept yourself as you wait upon the Lord that God changes you. Mm. So it's a place where God changes you and not you changing God. Mm. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, thank you for bringing that. There's something you said uh, in our last episode. Mm. And uh, when you're saying, the more you seek God, uh, he, he reveals, he shows, actually he reveals you. Mm. He, he, he opens you up to see areas that actually even need to intercede and work on. Mm. Now, <clears throat> another error number two that maybe we can correct here. We have people that are positioning themselves to be the ones to tell you about you and they are pointing out you mm. do, do we allow do, what do we say about it because from what you're saying mm. actually i can know about my my past present and future when i am in the place of seeking mm. but some of us are really running to people and running to uh, some some different pastors and men of god mm. that have now positioned themselves to be there the ones who actually can tell you about your future Mm. Hey. Okay. Who, who will go first? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just uh, tackle uh, it and then he'll also tackle it. Yes. Um, I quoted Psalms 91, mm. whereby the Bible says that he who dwells in the secret, mm. in the secret place of the Most High God shall mm. abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm. Every time, Louis, mm. you dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, mm. where is the seeking part of the Lord, God will begin to reveal things. The sec he will begin to, you'll begin to have access to the secret things. Why? Because you've let you've You've dwelt in the secret place of the Most High God. Now he begins to, 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 to reveal the secret things. Why? Because you have access in the secret place of the Most High God. He reveals things about you. He reveals things about your ministry. He reveals things about your family. He reveals things about your life. And once you dwell in that secret place, you do not need to go to somebody to ask that person person what is god saying about me can you please pray and hear what god is saying is saying about me about my family about my children you do not need why because you are already in the sacred place with the secret with the, with god who re, who knows the who has access to the sacred things and begins to reveal the sacred things to you so you do not need to move up and down running you to this prophet tomorrow you're in the other other and tomorrow you've gone to this other one no you can act access everything about you when you dwell in the secret place of the most high god and we go back to that place where he is seeking there is when god begins to unveil things to you unveil things about your life unveil things about your ministry why because you're in the secret place of the most high God and he who knows the secret things about our lives is God and you are in the secret place in his presence before him he will not hide anything from you he will unveil everything to you about your life about anything that you want him to unveil mm -hmm. to you wow. 
Amazing. That's deep. Now, if my request is wrong, will God permit it? When I'm praying, mm. but I don't know my request is wrong, but God knows it's wrong. Mm. How will he respond now that I'm, I'm his child? Will he just say, I thought to pay to you, maybe he's acting out of ignorance. Will he say no? Will he say yes? Will he say wait? <laughs> there are times we pray for something, mm. and uh, one of the ways to know that God has answered us mm. is his peace. Yes. Okay. Uh, the guidance that we get uh, from our conscience, he, he releases peace mm -hmm. that <coughs> God has answered. Mm -hmm. Now, God answering does not necessarily mean it is coming now. Mm -hmm. He gives you the peace. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Mark 11, 24, mm -hmm. that uh, when we pray, we should believe that mm -hmm. which we, we prayed for, mm -hmm. we have it. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the thing that we, we, we prayed for, mm -hmm. it shall be ours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there is the process of now, when I prayed for it, like we said, I understand that this is the will of God. Mm -hmm. I've prayed for it. Then I must now, act, uh, when God gives me the peace, mm -hmm. now I wait for the answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I wait for the answer. Mm -hmm. I, I will continue to, to commit myself in prayer so that I, I position myself in the place where I will be able to receive. Mm -hmm. But I must accept that the, the peace that God gave me is the confirmation. Mm -hmm. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. So mm -hmm. it gives you that confidence mm -hmm. that now it has been released okay well mm -hmm. that, that that's the side deep one yes you want yeah. to say something yeah, yeah maybe i can just add mm. in what he has said eh? yeah every time you go before god and your request for sure is wrong mm. i want to assure you god will say no mm -hmm. will say no why because when you go back again to First John chapter 5 and verses 14, mm. whereby the Bible says that this is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that mm. when we ask anything according mm. to his will, mm. remember, according to his will, he hears us. So meaning that if it is not according to the will of God, he was not going to answer it. Mm. It will not, do not be answered. Mm. Just go, going back to the example of Jesus, when Jesus said, Father, if it is your will, take away this cup. Mm. God did not answer mm. his prayer. Mm. Because it was not the will of God. The mm. will of God was to save man from sins. Mm. So if it is not the will of God, however much you pray for it, mm. he will not answer it. Wow. God will always answer something that is of his will and it becomes very easy mm. and very simple in prayer. And Amen. there is a reason why he is not answering it. Perhaps it will, be, it will not be of benefit to you, mm. especially your spiritual life mm -hmm. or your heart relationship with him, with him okay. he will not answer it. Answer. Yeah. Well, I think it, it's giving me an understanding now. <coughs> you know, but I always use examples that uh, I, I learned in campus because that's where we learned <laughs> some of these things and we are, <laughs> we are being revived yes. by, 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 yes. by the minute. Mm. You know, sometimes we used to make these very funny prayers and we, we really we say, God, if you do this, I will do this, mm. you know. Sometimes say, if you're not do, doing this, you better kill me. I go back to heaven, and and I'll tell you, don't die. Mm. <laughs> Can I give an example. When we were in the school of ministry, yes, uh, we we everybody came with his city that God had called him to. Mm. So wait, with what? With his, his city. city. So we, oh. are, God has called me to endure it. Ah. So we, when we meet together. Uh. People say, help me capture my city. So we, uh, uh. we prayed and said, okay, <laughs> claim your city. Do you know, wow. out of uh, the 30, uh, I don't think anybody has a city. city. Yeah. That okay. was not the will of God. <laughs> uh, people had things, but today, as we speak, uh, uh, 20 no one years has later, the city. I don't remember if there is anybody who is in the city that they were claiming that time. <laughs> Shall sometimes, we go back to the will of God? Uh, uh, sometimes the will of God will be very specific, yes. mm -hmm. but fi we start from the shallow end, mm -hmm. then we start to understand the specifics. We cannot start to swim from the, from the deep end. Mm -hmm. We start to understand the general will of God, okay. like you've been called to preach, mm -hmm. you first you understand that, mm -hmm. and then the specifics. Is it prophetic? Is it uh, teacher? Is it preacher? It comes, mm -hmm. then where now? Mm -hmm. to go. Where to go? Then it starts to guide you slowly okay. as you, you dwell in a secret place. Wow. And also another thing just to place uh, Eric, mm -hmm. uh, I mean Derek, mm -hmm. people need to understand that uh, 
that uh, sometimes when God does not answer your prayers, eh, mm. it's not that he doesn't love you. Mm. God loves you and God cares about you. Mm. But he sees <coughs> that if uh, if the request is wrong and uh, and you're praying for it, he knows that it's not going to benefit you. It is actually going to cause more harm mm. to you. Perhaps it's going to draw you away, even far away from him. And yet he has the plans, the intentions to bring you closer to, to, to him. So every time even when you pray and God does not answer mm. your prayers, mm. do not be discouraged. Mm. Do not be do not do not walk away from him, but rather just walk. Continue walking with him until you meet him in the other other side of the of the other side of you of, of where he wants you to meet him. Mm. And that is the place of where that is the secret place of prayer. Okay. So people need to understand that if your request is wrong Ah, God is not going to answer. Mm -hmm. And if it is perhaps not the time of God, okay. he will tell you, wait, mm -hmm. when the time comes, mm -hmm. I, the Lord, mm -hmm. will do it. Wow. And perhaps if you're wrong, you yourself, you're praying and you're wrong, God is saying, ah, ah Patricia, wait, you need to grow. Mm -hmm. I need to see you grow fast. I need to see you be what I want you to be. Mm -hmm. and then I can, I can give you all that you need because I know when you have grown, you'll be able to handle it. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to recognize that, oh, it's not my strength but it's god who did it for me wow yes. amazing so sometimes you can you can pray and uh instead of god giving you an answer it tells you grow up exactly <laughs> <laughs> grow up uh, now i know yes. no, the, 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 it, it is yours but says in galatians uh -huh. as long as someone is still a child mm. he, he his property is placed under lawyers mm. He is like the owner, mm -hmm. but he lives like the servant until he is mature. He has come, eh? come of age. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> I now understand why God has not given me a cup now. <laughs> but now he, he's supposed to. Because uh, <laughs> there's some years back I used to pray for a car. And so a brother asked me, if you a you know, you don't have a job at that time. <laughs> exactly, that is it. <laughs> now we do understand. Now for the brothers, I see for a wife and a, a sister, I see for a husband. Will you be able to manage uh, those people? Anyway, yes. we have three minutes to go. I want us to make a prayer. Because uh, from the last episode up to this, mm. uh, there's someone who is actually convicted. Maybe they've been praying wrong. They have been having uh, priorities wrong when it comes to prayer. Mm. So I want us to pray for these people. And uh, maybe there's also a brother or sister who is watching and uh, they want to give their life to Christ. It, mm. It's a good thing. Mm. We have said when it comes to seeking, it's a relationship. Yes. So first you have to accept him before you have a relationship with him. So maybe I'll invite Pastor Mshila to just lead someone to Christ. Mm. And then uh, Madam Patricia will make a conclusion uh, as you pray for us all in general, in Jesus' name. Amen. Karibu sana, Pastor. Amen. <coughs> Uh, ordinarily, uh, when people are given uh, words to repeat, mm. sometimes people think like, must I must uh, it be necessarily exactly <coughs> those words? Mm. Is it a template? Actually, it's a position that you are given. You are being given mm -hmm. to stop your faith to be able to confess mm -hmm. because it's important. Salvation is uh, in confession. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, confession is important in salvation. Mm -hmm. So I'll just give you a few words uh, in ra in random. Just repeat them. Believe in your heart, the Bible says in the book of Romans, that uh, uh, salvation comes by, uh, you, you believe in your heart and, and you are justified, mm. then through the confession of your mouth, you are saved. Mm. So I'll just give you uh, these words, and if you mean them from the depth of your heart, by faith, you will accept Christ, and from this day going forward, the Lord God is going to help you. Just repeat these words, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Today. Today, I give you my life. I give you my life. I confess. I confess that Jesus came. That Jesus came. He died. He died and rose again. And rose again. He died for my sins. He died for my sins. And today, and today, I accept His sacrifice. I accept His sacrifice. And I declare. And I declare that I will follow Him. That I will follow Him. Give me life. Give me life. And write my name in the Lamb's book of life. And write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I accept Jesus. I accept Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Karibu sana, Madam Patricia. Mm. Okay. Let's humble <coughs> ourselves and pray. Mm. And let's trust God that he will take us in that mm. sacred place of prayer. Because that is where 
that is where purposes are born that is where destinies are born that's where things are things happen in the secret place of prayer and that is where god desires each one of us to mm -hmm. go let's not mm -hmm. just end in the outer court let's enter into the inner court where there is seeking and knowing who god is is exactly father in the name of jesus christ yes. we come before your presence lord this evening father from wherever we are watching we are trusting you oh god that you have a good plan for each one of us you have a good purpose for each one of us and lord even as we have known how to pray lord we ask you through the help of the holy spirit who knows lord god almighty your mind and thoughts towards each one of us we pray that lord with his help that he will guide us and help Help us to reach where you want us to reach, oh God. May each one of us who desires to know you, Heavenly Father, we pray that the Spirit of God, of God will get hold of each one of us and take us in that place of prayer, in that Amen. sacred place of prayer, oh God, where it will not be about the things that we need, oh God, because we know you're already mindful of us to give us those things. We know you're willing already to bless us and give us all that we desire. Amen. But Lord God Almighty, what you're searching is a heart. And Lord, we dedicate our hearts to you this day in Jesus' mighty name. That, Lord, when we meet you, work on our heart, work on our relationship, that, Lord God Almighty, whatever we desire shall be about you and shall be about our purpose and destiny as to why you have called us while we are here on earth, Heavenly Father. Mm. May life be meaningful knowing that, Lord, what we are going to do is what you desire us to do, Heavenly Father. And may it not be vanity upon vanity, where, how so, how Solomon said, oh God, but may it be God Almighty that that day when we have all done what we have done to fulfill our purposes and call and destiny, you will tell each one of us, oh God, well done, good and faithful servant. Come into my rest. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Right now you're raising men and women, Heavenly Father, to fulfill their purpose and destiny, oh God, in mm -hmm. that place of prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Because I know, oh God, you are willing to bless us. You are willing to give us all that we desire. Why? Because it is possible with you and you are mindful to us, oh God. We choose to surrender all to you, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. 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 And amen. And amen. And amen. Thank you so much for being part and parcel of this program. If you made the first prayer of receiving Jesus Christ, please let us know through the number on our screen. 0714596888 you can whatsapp us you can sms us you can call us and we will help you connect you to the right bible believing church and you will begin your journey of salvation in jesus name and you can continue watching these programs on our youtube channel so that they continually uh, build your faith as you grow in christ mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> for all who have watched from online from uh, my home tv mobile app from kenya and outside the country God bless you. Uh, Whispers of the Spirit continues next week. Uh, thank you for being a blessing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for and this has here. been amazing. This has been wonderful. My production crew, thank you so much for making this program available. God bless you and God keep you until next episode. It's light off from us. <laughs>